So what is going to be the best motherboard for you and your specific needs? In this video, I break down the top 5 gaming motherboards on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for AMD, Intel, or just want the best motherboard possible, I'll have the perfect option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which gaming motherboard will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the MSI MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4, my pick for best Intel-based gaming motherboard. The MSI MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 is a gaming-oriented micro-ATX motherboard constructed around the latest Intel B660 chipset that balances value with cutting-edge hardware and performance. The B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 follows the military theme of many MSI budget models. The DDR4 version uses a black six-layer PCB without any patterns or designs. The large silver heatsinks provide a contrast against the board, along with MSI, MAG, and Mortar branding in black. It's a simple look, one that doesn't command attention on its own. The large VRM heatsinks on the top left of the board offer plenty of surface area and mass to effectively keep the power delivery components cool. Sitting between the heatsinks are two 8-pin EPS connectors to power the processor. Off to the right of the socket are four unreinforced single side locking DRAM slots that support up to 128GB, with speeds listed up to 48,000 plus MHz. Intel's mainstream chipsets give you an attractive platform to build a system on, and really shows what an inexpensive board is capable of when paired with the i9-12900K and less expensive DDR4. The MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 may not have the fancy looks or RGB lighting of pricier boards, but does come with everything you need to get the most out of the system stock clocked. The mortar includes two PCIe 4.0 X4 M.2 sockets, six SATA ports, a premium audio solution, and VRMs that easily manage the flagship processor. When it comes to performance, this motherboard is able to fully utilize the i9-12900K processor while costing a third less than most Z690 offerings. Of course, the B660M doesn't give you four M.2 sockets, eight SATA ports, and more robust power delivery, but most people don't need that much connectivity. You don't have to break the bank to get a good motherboard, and if you're in the market for a board that supports Intel-based Alder Lake CPUs, the MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 is a great choice. Next up, the Asus ROG Strix B550E Gaming, my pick for best AMD gaming motherboard for most people. Asus's ROG Strix B550E Gaming Wi-Fi delivers premium features, including Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200, solid power delivery, and more. The overall dark theme of the B550E makes it aesthetically compatible with most build themes. This board has four single-side latching DIMM slots capable of holding up to 128GB of DDR4 memory, with speed listed up to DDR4400, which is slightly less than the MSI MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4. That said, AMD's self-proclaimed sweet spot for memory is in the DDR4 3600-3733 range, which also keeps the Infinity Fabric at a 1 to 1 ratio with the RAM speed. Once past that, the IF ratio isn't 1 to 1, and latency increases dramatically, so you'd be best to stick to memory speeds below 4000. The EPS power plugs feed a 14-phase VRM that sends power to the MOSFETs that feeds the CPU slash vCore, and it's plenty capable of handling a Ryzen 9 3900X without causing issues or running too hot. In the middle of the board are two M.2 sockets that support modules up to 110mm in length of both PCIe and SATA varieties, and both sockets have a dedicated heatsink to keep hot-running NVMe drives cool. The top slot is PCIe 4.0 X4, while the bottom slot is limited to PCIe 3.0 X4. On the right edge of the board are six SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports that support RAID 0, 1, and 10. Port sharing is inevitable on this chipset, and the ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi shuts down SATA ports 5 and 6 when any M.2 module is installed in the lower M.2 socket. Across the bottom edge are several headers that cover USB, fan control, audio, and more. If you're shopping for an AMD-based gaming motherboard that includes premium features at an affordable price, the Asus ROG Strix B550E gaming motherboard is a solid choice and a great foundation to build a B550 system on. Next up, the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Master, my pick for best high-performance AMD gaming motherboard. Ryzen 3000 builders who want more slot and onboard storage availability will find plenty available with the X570 Aorus Master and the extra 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet controller is a nice extra too. 
Like the Asus ROG Strix B550E gaming motherboard, the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master is mostly black with some silver and aluminum color highlights. It's a hefty 3.3 pound piece of gear that's packed with everything from extra USB 3 Gen 2 ports, dual 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet ports, which are perfect for anyone who has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet router, also in place is a 2.4 gigabit per second Wi-Fi controller, a trio of M.2 slots, and a very quiet fan. The I.O. panel is filled out with two USB 3 Gen 1 and four USB 2.0 ports, an optical SPDIF, five analog audio jacks, and a pair of buttons for updating firmware and clearing its settings. Memory support allows for four DIMM sockets that you can add up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4400 RAM. Audio is fed from an ALC1220 codec through an ESS Sabre 9118 reference stack for improved clarity, and the Wi-Fi 6 adapter is supplied by Intel for improved compatibility. Power is fed through 14 chokes by 50 amp Infineon IR3556 MOSFETs from a 16-channel Infineon XDPE132G5C controller in a 12-core plus 2 SOC configuration, and are cooled by a stacked fin heat pipe arrangement. A row of voltage detection points sits between a pair of CPU fan headers and a pair of RGB ARGB headers in the upper right corner. Beneath those are power and reset buttons, a switch to disable dual BIOS mode, a selector switch for the two firmware ROM ICs, and a two-digit LED status code display. If you're looking for a high-performance AMD-based gaming motherboard, the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Master is a very good choice. It can handle up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4400 RAM, the latest third-gen AMD processors, and multiple GPUs for anyone wanting to future-proof their gaming needs. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like, and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Asus Tough Gaming B550M Plus, my pick for best budget gaming motherboard. The Asus Tough Gaming B550M Plus A Wi-Fi is a well-rounded motherboard that offers good performance in a micro ATX form factor at a great budget price point. Like the other boards we've looked at, the prevailing theme is black. The PCB adds a pattern of gray lines coming from the bottom right corner by the chipset up through the rear I.O. Sending power to the VRMs is a single 8-pin EPS connector. The Tough Gaming logo and the yellow and gray patterns representing the brand are found on the large VRM heatsink. Four DIMM slots alternating in gray and black are situated on the right side, and like the Gigabyte RS X570 Master, supports up to 128 gigabytes of RAM with speeds up to DDR4-4600. To the right of the DIMM slots is the 24-pin ATX power connector and the QLED section that checks key components like CPU, DRAM, VGA, and boot during the post process. Since this board doesn't have a more informative two-character debug display, like the Gigabyte RS X570 Master, these LEDs will certainly offer some assistance when trying to debug post issues. For power delivery, this board uses an 8 plus 2 V-Core slash SOC configuration with 50 amp Vishay 6639 MOSFETs, is managed by an ASP 1106G controller, and will easily handle a Ryzen 9 3900X without issue during stock and overclocked operations. In the middle of the board are three PCIe slots and two M.2 sockets. The top slot runs up to 32 gigabits per second, while the bottom slot runs at 16 gigabits per second. To the right, four SATA ports are oriented vertically. The board supports RAID 0, 1, and 10 modes. The rear I.O. panel offers plenty of Type-C and Type-A USB ports, and for video, there's a display port, HDMI port, and more. If you're looking for a budget gaming motherboard that offers a good number of M.2 and SATA ports and can handle mid to high-end CPUs, the Asus Tough Gaming B550M Plus is a great choice for the price. Last but not least, the NZXT N7 B550, my pick for best gaming motherboard for AMD B550 chipset. NZXT's N7 B550 is a solid player in the AMD motherboard space. The heavily shrouded appearance looks good, and the board is plenty capable, with a ton of USB ports on the rear I.O., and it's a good basis for a B550 Ryzen rig. This board features a heavily shrouded look and is available in either black or white to suit your build. And if you're all in on the NZXT ecosystem, the company's H-series cases match these boards well. Two EPS power connectors offer a required 8-pin and optional 4-pin lead to power the CPU, and to the right are the first two of seven 4-pin 2-amp 24-watt fan headers. Four DRAM slots support up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, with speeds listed to DDR4-4666 Plus for Vermeer-based CPUs and DDR4-4733 Plus for Renier-based APUs. 
On the board's far right edge, visible through the metal shrouds, is a 24-pin ATX to power the board and a front panel USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C header. Two full-length and two X1 size PCIe slots are placed in the middle of the board with two M.2 sockets concealed by the shrouds. The top full-length slot is PCIe 4.0, while the second full-length slot is 3.0 X4. Of the two M.2 sockets, the top socket is wired PCIe 4.0 X4 and supports drives up to 80 mm long while the second socket is PCIe 3.0 X2 and supports SATA-based modules up to 80 mm. Along the right edge of the board are six SATA ports supporting RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 modes. The rear I.O. panel offers 10 USB ports with a mix of Type-A and Type-C. There's also a single HDMI 2.1 port and a 5-plug plus SPDIF audio stack. If you're planning to build a rig based on AMD's B550 chipset, the NZXT N7B550 gaming motherboard is a good mid-range choice. This board delivers solid performance and offers a visually different aesthetic from the other motherboards we've looked at. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.